Hey guys, Zero here, back for some more Monday Memories, and today we are playing Sinistar. Uh, now this game, as well as I think the next couple of games I'm going to be playing here, uh, will be fairly short. Um, it's a fairly simple game, but this is one of my favorites, and it is also one of the oldest ones that I remember. It's probably been at least a good, I don't know, 25 plus years since I played this game, because I think that's like the last time I ever saw it in my local arcade. I've never seen it anywhere else, um, but I can remember the cabinet even still to this day. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, this game, it's its one of those games that has very, like, like high-pitchy, loud noises. That, that arcade noise. So I, I've turned down the volume to, to adjust for it, but just, just keep that in mind. I hunger. And he hungers. So you got zero, uh, zero Cinnabombs, and Sinistar has zero pieces. So the whole idea here is Sinistar is going to come for you. You get all these guys who are trying to get in your way. You need to mine Cinnabombs by shooting all these boulders, and that's these little flashing pixels, and the enemies will try to pick them up and snatch them from you. You can, uh, you can then kill them to try to get it back, or you can just keep farming for other ones. And you can see in the top left there, um, your little uh, Cinnabombs. And basically, you need to stock up... Um, get this UFO thing out of here. You need to stock up while he's still forming, because once he forms... That's when it gets real. So, these red guys, they don't actually shoot at you. Those guys do. They can kill you. The red guys will just annoy you, but the other ones can't kill you. They'll just try to get in your way and steal your pieces. So, you don't have to worry about that too much. Focus on just farming up. And it looks really weird controlling the ship. It also feels very weird. It's very, like, it's very, like, instant response with the joystick. And I'm not using an actual joystick. I'm using a, a D-pad here. So, it, it feels a little weird, but... Alright, we've almost had See, that guy, he stole it, so I can kill him, and then I got it back from him. And I think it'll just keep infinitely spawning rocks and all that. Jesus Christ. Alright. We're basically ready. We've got a stockpile of bombs. Extra ones... It says crystal save for warp engines. I don't actually know what that means. Um... Oh, but you better beware, because he lives! Oh, shit! <laughs> And that's my childhood, right there. Holy fuck! Run, Some. Coward. I love the voice lines. It's what I makes it the best. Um, and he's calling me a coward. All right, now. Hunger, what I'm gonna coward. do is lay the bombs out in his face. Now, sorry, there's a bunch of flashing colors. All right, and it's gonna warp us to the next stage. Uh, we might not make it past this next stage. Honestly, as a kid, I think I only ever made it past that first one. Now we're entering the worker zone, and it's the same concept, but now these guys that actually shoot at you, there's way more of them around. Uh, but Jesus Christ, like, okay, that was perfect. Like, honestly, that legit made me jump. That was my childhood right there. I love this game. It, I find it so interesting, but also Sinistar scared the ever-living shit out of me. Oh, I got sniped. Um, now, see, he, now he's, he's starting to form. There's nothing I can really do. I can blow up his his pieces as they're forming, but I d but the level won't end until you destroy him like proper, I believe. So there's no point in I necessarily doing that. God, I'm gonna get shot. And I'm not farming enough cinnabombs right now. There was actually quite a few different arcade games that made me jump like that. That like legit, just like kind of terrified me as a kid. But I I loved playing this game. Like I said, I've never seen it again since my local arcade had it 25, like, plus years ago or whatever. Like, I just... I okay, so now here's the problem. I only have 13 I bombs, coward. and he hungers for me. Because I'm a coward. I hunger. He hungers. I'm trying to... Oh! Okay, hold up. We have enough bombs, I think. Okay, my goal is to get to the next level, but we're at it. We're out of ships, so now I, I need to just... So I'm actually going to kind of go... I will I not make it because I got killed. Uh, see, that's usually what happens. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> that is okay. And like I said, that's the game. Yeah, I believe, I want to say that there's five levels total before it loops again. I could be wrong about that. I don't think it's many. Um... And they all have different gimmicks, like with the other one, it adds more of those worker guys, And but uh, the, the, co the, the core gameplay remains the same. There we go. Hey, we're the top survivor! Because <laughs> we're the only survivor. Although I guess we didn't survive. You know what? 
I think that's good. Like I said, some of these videos are going to be pretty short because that's just the nature of these arcade games. Um, when you actually went to the arcade, you would probably play it, and you're, you're dead in two minutes. You make it past the first stage, and then you die. Uh, I, I don't even know if you can continue, right? It didn't even give me an option to put a coin in to continue. This is one where you just go until, you, until you're dead, and you can try to earn bonus ships and all that, but, uh, yeah, Jesus, like, my, I forgot how much, like, it, I, it's, it's better to have an actual joystick. My, my thumb is, like, I'm like pressing this so hard, trying to, like, because the ship is very, it's, I don't even know the way to describe the way the ship moves, but, uh, anyways, that's Sinistar, <laughs> um, one of my favorites. I would love to actually see this in an arcade again, but I'd probably have to go to some place that actually specifically has, like, old arcade games, because my local ones don't have this kind of stuff anymore. They just don't. But uh, this was one of my favorites. But uh, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time.